Our sun is a very active star and in its very hot atmosphere it produces these huge eruptions actually of material but also of magnetic fields as well and these events get referred to as solar storms. The interesting aspect for us here on Earth is that these solar storms then travel out through space and can reach the Earth and when they do they impact us and they ultimately cause things like the northern and southern lights. These solar storms affect the Earth's magnetic field. They shake it up, they distort it, and they put energy into it. And the knock-on effects of that can be charged particles that get accelerated down from high up above our atmosphere into our atmosphere. The effects can include the generation of um, electric currents that flow through electricity distribution networks. They can also impact technologies um, that are important for launching uh, rockets. We've been continuing throughout the day, all of last night, continue to talk to those critical infrastructure operators from satellite controllers that are trying to maintain proper orbit levels for low Earth orbiting satellites. They've been dealing with this storm, perhaps burning fuel to make corrections to raise their altitude because these types of storms can make gravity win the war and the satellite will burn up in the atmosphere if they don't account for those needed corrections. GPS may be a little bit off, especially precision GPS. So if you need accuracy within a centimeter, that may not be so accurate when these types of storms happen.